Assalamu alaikum, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, good morning. Uh, it's my pleasure uh, to be with you uh, here today. Uh, this is Engineer Salih Sarani, General Manager for uh, Inspections Body, uh, Saudi Accreditation Center. Uh, today, it's my. Uh, I'm lucky to be uh, the first one today, and uh, uh, during the whole day, we will offer a few all the techniques and uh, the new systems in this uh, important field. But uh, let us agree that the inspection process is one of the main process which we uh, uh, adding value to any systems will be fixed to protect or uh, making alarms when fire happen. Actually, when uh, Fijian in 2030 started in Saudi Arabia, we start to match it with the global indicators. Uh, and to uh, be matching with that, we have to apply our process in all the fields with ISO standards. For that, we are focusing today in ISO uh, 17,020, which means accreditation for inspection body to uh, making a process for inspection and uh, fire alarm and firefighting uh, process. This ISO is uh, established or finally established in 2012. Actually, it's under updated now. At the end of the 2025 will be uh, another uh, new uh, venture for that. No uh, much uh, changes, but it will be uh, uh, some changes must be uh, taking place at that time. Uh, up to now, we are following uh, the last phase, which is uh, related to 2012. And uh, by the way, the ISO 17,020 uh, uh, issuing only from government uh, entities, not from uh, commercial uh, companies, which is accreditation centers usually in all the countries and the whole global. Here in Saudi Arabia, only the Saudi Accreditation Center who has the authority to give accreditation in 70,020. In fact, this ISO focus in the uh, process, uh, the human beings who's working in the uh, entities and also the management system uh, uh, also the uh, technical uh, evaluation for the uh, inspection body. That means ISO uh, 17,020 offer you all the process which happens inside the uh, inspection body to make sure that they are meeting the requirement and they are doing their work effectively in the site, not only reading paper or, or offer a few all the papers as uh, ISO 9,020. We are going indeed in the site with the field with the inspection body and we make a test with them and may, we make sure that they are applying their work in the right way for sure as you know the inspection process is a human being judgment all of us as a inspection uh, inspectors by some way we have today we come in this hall we try to find the best place I will sit. This is inspection. I try to find, no, this location, there is some uh, doubt about it. Here, the view will be good for me. I will sit in the back because I will have phone call every time. I will don't want to disturb my colleagues. That means there is some requirement for myself to choose my seat when I sit. Usually, who did this judgment? myself that means i am inspector for my seat in this hall this is what mean for iso 17020 we are dependent on the judgment of the human being to make sure that the system will be work on the fire or when the disaster will be happening even they are using the, some equipment the final judgment is related to the human being in, uh, in the inspection this is not like uh, uh, the laboratories, for example, when we might make the sample in the device and he give you, and this device give you the reading, you can't some have a doubt about this reading. You have to record it and that's it. But in the inspection activities, you have to believe your judgment at the end. 
your uh, skills, your experience before you trust your devices. That's why the 17,024% are qualified of the persons also making the inspection activities. We are focusing in uh, training and uh, their ethicals and uh, their uh, experience and uh, uh, how you choose the, your inspectors and your entities as inspector uh, uh, to work and apply the uh, uh, requirement. We will go deep in that after a few more slides. Also, the tools and equipment, we will go through it. Uh, for sure, we are using uh, many of uh, equipment during inspections, but some equipment needs some uh, type of care, uh, storage, how we are dealing with, uh, who will use it, if he qualified enough to use it, how, uh, if he has uh, some training in that, we have to ensure all that. Sometimes, also, we need some contracts to support us in our activities as uh, inspectors. And also, there is some requirement for that in uh, 17,000 dollars. As we said, the inspections depend on the human judgment. That means this inspector now must be uh, uh, qualified enough to be uh, impartiality. No relationship will be affect their judgment. I will not uh, build a if I visit some uh, locations, I will find my friends, my colleagues, uh, sometimes my cousin there. I will not make a bad report for them because they don't want to, to be angry for me, especially in our countries here where we have the uh, social uh, relations sometimes affect my judgment as inspectors. Also, uh, the inspections, uh, you, uh, the inspector usually offer you sometimes some data and some, some marks nobody know about it. And he has some uh, authority to offer you that and uh, we have to make sure that the inspector is not using this data or information in the social media, for example, or uh, uh, show it in the other uh, colleagues or another, another uh, friends and he highlighted, uh, don't go to this place because the pipe system not working uh, efficiently there and uh, don't go to, to this company and this like this information will be affect the commercial work. And sometimes, as you know, the work is not transferred as what you see. Usually it's some adding information in that and it will be badly affect the uh, commercial uh, activities. Uh, that's why we have to make sure that all the inspectors will be key all the information under secret and no way to uh, highlight it to any unofficial uh, entity. For sure, I will choose the qualified person. By the way, the most uh, uh, persons or, or inspectors who are making accidents is uh, more qualified because he trusts himself. I know it. I did it many times. Uh, I did this. No need to follow up the procedure. No, no, no need to uh, check the uh, manual for this uh, system. Like this word, when you hear it from your inspector, you have to stop it. Stop. You have to offer a few words now. Re-evaluate your qualification. Doesn't mean you have many times of experience that you, are not, you, will, you will not uh, uh, make uh, uh, mistakes. Usually the beginners and the inspectors they are following the rules and they are afraid to make mistakes. That's why they are more safer than the more experienced people. And also the training. In ISO 17,020, let's be honest, we go deep for training. How we choose the training, the courses, who's the entity provide the training, who's the training for your people. All these questions will be asked and you have to replay to accreditation center about it, and you have to have evidence. Uh, the normal uh, training which we are seeing in the commercial uh, sector, I'm upset that they aim to give all the certificate without, without adding facts. That we have today, now we have a specialist academies with, uh, with us today. It's a good chance to 
uh, take some uh, knowledge from them and some uh, formation on the courses that uh, they are provide to make sure that my inspectors when they go to these academies or to these entities, they will get value from their training. I will pay for that. That's why, why I make sure I want to make sure that they will affect uh, uh, positively to my work in the site. For a moment, for sure, we have to monitor our comments, especially the uh, very sensitive comments. Sometimes this equipment will down, or uh, the uh, inspector not using uh, the, uh, the comments uh, in a good way. They make it in the back of the car and take speed times in the fast. This usually happen. We see, we saw it before, and this will affect the. Uh, 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 sensitive of the devices and the reading with the devices will not be uh, in the right way. That's why we have to storage it uh, uh, in the right way also in the bag. Sometimes they have special bags to storage uh, some uh, quotes. Calibration one of the requirements and its main requirement for the uh, sensitive equipment especially. And we have to make it with laboratories, which is accredited also in 17,025. And uh, this is uh, mandatory in Saudi Arabia uh, by the law. Uh, any uh, uh, laboratories must be accredited before provided uh, services and calibration. If they are not, don't uh, contract with them. Actually, uh, because they are Ill working illegal and you will get uh, bad information. Or, uh, uh, let us say fake certificates, calibration about your devices, and you will be uh, in the high risk when this device is use, using to make inspection for the system. From where we I get, uh, can I get the accreditation from Saudi uh, Accreditation Center? This slide show uh, uh, when the uh, Saudi Accreditation Center started. It started in 2004, uh, but it's uh, officially started in 2019 with Corona. We stopped. We start again in 2021. The good uh, point is we have uh, already achieved all the uh, global uh, uh, agreements uh, with IDAC uh, entities and IF uh, entities also organizations, and we are officially. Uh, Accreditation center in the whole globe. No. Finally, ensure inspection, ensure uh, uh, your system and your safe, uh, safety for sure. And I will be having to contact with me uh, through my uh, website in LinkedIn and uh, through my uh, phone number and email. Thank you very much.